Okay, so this is the really fun one. Um, fermenting human waste. Um, we covered this a little bit last time, but with the breakdown of organic matter, there's two ways, basically. You've got aerobic breakdown, your traditional hot compost heat, which takes a year. Uh, releases greenhouse gases, needs to be turned, needs to have certain ratios of things, etc, etc. It's a lot of work, basically, and a lot of time. Anaerobic breakdown of, co of uh, organic matter, you've got two types. Um, there's the nasty one, which is putrescence, which is what happens in landfill, in your typical ship pit, as well as dug on, you know, festival sites and things. And is really nasty, produces hydrogen sulfide, lots of toxic gases, it's bad for the environment. Um, but the other type of anaerobic breakdown is fermentation, which is our friend, because you can ferment anything. Um, I'm going to show you the toilet. So, are we, we're still videoing, eh? Yeah. Okay, so we've got two toilets, one next door which is a normal sit-down toilet. This is our squat toilet. You can see down there, there's genuine human poo down there. Um, the only thing that is worth remembering with this is this bit as well. We've got a urinary separator, basically the urine goes down there off to a biochar bucket. So you don't want this to get too wet, so it's good to separate the urine out, which as we said is an incredibly useful resource anyway. So the other thing that's relevant in here, just behind us, there's a blue barrel there. Um, so this is like where we've brewed the lactobacillus in the jars and then added it to a barrel full of sawdust. Then you wait two weeks and then you can use it like this. So when you take a poo, you chuck down a couple of handfuls of this sawdust and on you go. Um, we're actually going to empty one as well so you can see how well it works. Okay, so... Um, both of these bins are full of human poo, about 50% poo, 50% sawdust. Um, have a look in there. Um, you can tell, okay, so I've topped it off with a bit of sawdust to help promote the anaerobic environment, but like this, we'll empty it now and we'll see how it looks. Move it. Uh, this is an old bay. This stuff's been stood for a few months. And while I will use a pair of gloves, there is no smell to this. Um, I'll show you a handful of stuff. So there you go. Got enough light. That was poo a few months ago. Now, it smells of sawdust. It's not unpleasant to deal with at all. Um, it does hot compost a bit in here as well. Like to be safe with this stuff, like you've got to be, got to get rid of the pathogens. Um, worm cysts, worm eggs are the hardest thing to get rid of. Uh, but if it hot composts for a while, there's details in the human your handbook. It's a combination of time and how hot. Um, but once it's gone through that process, you can just use this to grow stuff in. This is the fresher one, the one that we're currently using. I'm going to empty this thing, so it shouldn't be too nasty. Because this one has been stood for about a month. So that is one month fermented human poo. I can't smell a thing, frankly. Um, let me get a spade and we can have a bit of a dig through. What? Yeah, see, there's all bits of toilet paper and stuff. It's not totally broken down yet because it's still a little bit damp, but that will hot compost now. Um, and depending on heat and time, the hotter it is, the quicker you get rid of the pathogens. Like I say, the human in your handbook has details of that. Um, but yeah, it's a very good way of turning human poo into usable soil within a few months at the outside. Um, 
and very inoffensive. Like, I'm not going to say this smells nice, but it doesn't smell like, oh my god, this is disgusting. It's sort of reasonable, and within a couple of days it will be like just no odour at all. Um, so then you get an empty bin, and... stinky because it is basically fresh human poo and close it leave that for a month rinse and repeat basically so we can just stick this one out of the way put the empty one back and there you go That's it, really. Okay, a little addendum. Um, if this gets wet, if it remains soaked, then it tends to putresce rather than ferment. So you want the liquid to drain out of here. Um, so all we've done is drill, there's three little holes in the bottom of these bins, um, so that any liquid that does go in there, any urine, whatever, because no one's perfect, leaks out um, and it remains relatively dry inside because you don't want liquid. If you get liquid, it will putress rather than ferment. So drill holes.